Well, g'day guys, it's Quick Tick time again, uh, and this week I'll be introducing you to Wimba Create, which is a lovely little bit of piece of software that actually adds itself to Microsoft Word, and allows you to use the skills that you likely already have in Microsoft Word to build some really interesting e-learning content very, very quickly. Let me show you what I mean by that. So here I am, I'm just in a plain old Microsoft Word document, and of course I can type away as I would normally expect. I'm not going to concern myself too much with the sorts of words at the moment. Um, but what Wimba Create has done is add itself to Microsoft Word. And under this tab in Word called Add-ins, I have some special mem menus. Later in the session, by the way, I'll show you how you can install Wimba Create on your own computer. But let me just show you what it does. I can generate a course. Now what this will do is actually turn my Word document into a website for me. And you might notice I've now opened up in my web browser. Here I am here. And those are the words that I had written inside the Microsoft Word document. So that's interesting. It's not thrilling. There's nothing particularly exciting about that content. However, if I quickly now return to the Word document, here I have it here, and start to add some more formatting, some interesting things begin to happen. I'm just going to put some more placeholder text in just for the moment. All right. What I want to show you is a feature that it's already available in Word called styles, but styles have a special meaning when it comes to Wimba Create. I'm just going to go back to what's called the Home tab. This is the one which you're most familiar with. Some of you may already be using these things called styles, and if you're not, I'd greatly encourage you to. They're really, really handy. And in fact, I like them so much that I like to see them all the time, and I can do that by pressing this little button here. And that just pops them up onto the side here. But what I'm going to do is use some very special styles which Wimba Create recognises. I'm going to, for instance, use this section title here, because I think that that's going to be a section of content and belief that I've got some words and then I'm going to have another section of content here and beneath that I'll have some words. So far so good. Alright, now I'm going to save that and generate that subject again um, using Wimba Create. So I'm going to go over to the Add-ins tab, Wimba Create, Generate Course as you'd seen me do previously but now have a look. What we've got now, first of all, is a much more interesting looking uh, website. You can see the um, title here now is, is in a bold red colour and here are the words below it. But here's the really interesting thing. Everywhere I had set it as a section title, I've actually got a new page of content. So you'll notice that I can actually now click onto this, our second little block of content, and navigate through. So we're no longer just building a web page, but an entire website. And indeed, we can use the navigation at the top here, these backward and forward arrows, to, to navigate through that. Um, in order to better demonstrate the full functionality of Wimba Create, I've just got a document where I've added a whole range of different features to the one document. There's further instructions later which I'll direct you to, so I don't need to cover the processes here. But let me generate this one to show you the full suite of what Wimba Create is capable of doing. Okay, so now we have a more uh, interesting website. It's got some major headings and some minor headings, so you can have sections and subsections. You could, of course, use all the formatting you'd normally expect in Word, heading and bold, italicized and underline, but they've got some special formatting types here as well. It can include pictures, hyperlinks, tables, media like videos or audio files, flashcards, which are little interactive exercises, a whole range of different features. So, where do you find out more? If you log into WebCT and click into Staff Resources and into the area which reads, excuse me, Softwares and, and Notes, and here you'll find a section devoted to Wimba Create with a whole lot of interactive tutorials for you.